Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. On yesterday's program, Pastor Benny Hinn shared the first part of his recent live internet broadcast as he and Prophet Brian Karn discussed current events with prophetic revelations about what is coming to America and the world in these end times. Today you'll see the conclusion of this important and timely discussion as Pastor Benny presents the secret to the supernatural, which is the key to not only surviving what is coming to the world, but actually thriving with hope, safety, and provision. I want to tell you something. We need the supernatural. This is not be something that you play play with. This cannot be something that you decide to do. I want to make an appeal to you to draw close to him. In a minute, Pastor, I'm going to ask Pastor to pray because everybody watching your life has been transformed. But this is your day. Everybody watching, your life has been transformed by the stories that we read from. Good morning, Holy Spirit. My life has changed. Every person in America who has any sense and got the Holy Ghost and knows Jesus, your life has been changed. And we need Pastor Benny. And I believe that for Pastor Benny, this is a season of impartation. Absolutely. I want us to rally around him like never before. Let's hold up his arms. And let him know that his best days are ahead. That the glory of the latter house will be far greater than that of the former. You know, when John, when Jesus came on the scene, John wanted to be baptized of Jesus. Jesus said, I have need to be baptized of you. That shows me that in order for Jesus' ministry to begin, he had to respect the one who had went before him. Our generation, all of you listening, we have the Oral Roberts, we have the Rex Humbards, the Catherine Coleman's, we had all of those. They're gone. And we don't have too many people now in this dispensation and at this time who are still operating in the supernatural. And now people who started young because they started so young when they reach their 50s, 60s, they're fathers. And they can impart wisdom into us. And I believe God in this season wants to give us wisdom. You know, I got Pastor Benny to come on Periscope. I'm, I'm amazed by it. I'm, I'm still getting people to uh, join. It, it hasn't stopped. And, and, and I and downloaded the app just about an hour ago or less. I, I told Pastor and that. And I, didn't, I didn't, didn't even know what, what it was. And I told him that we need him on start there. Start using it now. To teach us morning devotion. You, you know, bet, it's one thing to. for people to tell us to pray. But when you show us, show us the model. Show us how to tap into that realm. You know what I like to do is every morning, I'm going to come to you on Periscope. If you join, I'm going to come to you on Periscope. Okay. And I'm going to pray with you. Okay. Every day. Now, I'm not going to promise it'll be at a certain hour, but it'll be every day. Every day. I'm going to pray with you, believe God with you for whatever you need in, in your life. Give you a, a scripture, show you what God said to me, who knows what could, what could where I could be, and share with you what's going on in my own life. Right. When I travel, you know, around the world, you'll... you'll You'll come with me because I take my phone everywhere. Well, we need to see it. And where my phone goes, I go. We need that Or pattern. where I go, it, it goes. But, you know, I want to minister, and I think this is an incredible technology. Can I ask you a question real quick? Yeah. What would you say if you had to put one thing is the secret to the supernatural? The Holy Spirit. We cannot ignore the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the power that keeps us sanctified and holy. He is, the, he is the power we need in our lives. When we ignore Him, it's really over for us. So if you want power in your life, you have to meet Him. If you want power in your church, introduce Him. If you want power in your home, introduce Him. He is, he's become the unknown person. The, the, the only reason that I can function is when I say, Holy Spirit, help me. Like yesterday, like the day before, or whenever. I said, Holy Spirit, help me live the Christian life today. And it's a daily thing. 
I cannot say help me tomorrow because daily bread, you know. Mm -hmm. So I said, help me live clean today. Help me live righteous today. Help me where sin will not, do, uh, you know, dominate my soul. Praise God. Only the Holy Spirit can do this because my, my flesh is too weak. Praise God. Why did Jesus give him to us? To help us. Because we cannot do it. We can't even pray properly. Praise God. Only he knows how to pray. He's the one who says, Abba, Father, not us. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the secret to really my life's longevity. He's the secret to Catherine's ministry, Oral Roberts, the greats that, that lasted. But if you focus on the power and ignore the Holy Ghost, you're in trouble. Mm. If you want the manifestations without the person, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is, is not interested in being used. Mm. Well, I, I, you know, I just want him so I can pray for the sick. Yeah. He won't show up. You, we, we, we have to respect him. We have to love him. No different than loving Jesus. When was the last time you looked up and said, I love you, Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Like when? You know, think about, we say, you know, I love you, Lord. But please understand that the Holy Spirit is the, is the only person on the earth. Praise God. That we need. And he is our friend and our companion and our Hallelujah. comforter. Praise Jesus God. is in glory. The Father is in glory. The Holy Spirit is a very lonely person. That needs our love, needs our companionship. We need him, but he needs us. And this is what I learned when I was just young. And today, as I get older, you know, it all comes back to you. Where you see, with, with Adam, it's over for you. With, with, with Adam, the devil will destroy us. The law of the spirit of life hath made me free from the law of sin and death. If we walk in the spirit, the, the flesh has no power. Hallelujah. But if we don't, we're in trouble. Look, we all fail. Everybody fails. For God's sake, I fail. Because we live with this flesh. flesh. Catherine Kuhlman used to say this. The devil is not my enemy. Flesh. I am my enemy. Right. My flesh is my... The, we know how to deal with the devil. We know. We just say it's written. Mm -hmm. That's the way the Lord dealt with them. We don't know how to deal with this flesh. Oh, wretched man. Because it... O wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me? Yeah. From this body of corruption. You cannot educate it. You cannot sanctify it. You just have to crucify it. Wow. And it only happens in the presence of the Lord. We cannot be free from sin by trying to be free. It's impossible. Where the Spirit is, there's liberty. Hallelujah. We must welcome the Holy Spirit back in our lives or we are sunk. So I want to pray right now. I want to pray for three things. Number one, that God would meet every need in your life because I really feel that on it. And, and I'm going to pray especially that the Holy Spirit will, will, will draw you. Secondly, I'm going to pray for your family, that God will save your sons and daughters. Look, you know, if you'll join, what do you call it? Periscope. Periscope. The scope. The scope, whatever. I will share with you things that I went through with my own children. You know, if you think we were spared, come on, please. God gave me a miracle. And Suzanne and, and I were divorced. We, we, we went through misery. Today, we are happy. We still talk, and mm, I love you, you know. After 30 years, you know, sometimes things get raw, you know, you want to... The thrill is gone. <laughs> Whatever it's been. No, no you know what? If you love them, it, it, it never leaves. That's right. Sue and I are closer than ever now. We watch movies together, you know, we... She cooks for me, and God can do that for everybody. Not everybody. Look, look, we all go through, forgive me, we all go through a lot of pain and darkness and name it whatever you want. Yes. But it didn't say if, it says when you pass through the waters, I'll go. Hallelujah. When you go through the fire, I'll be there. Koraman when, so if, if you haven't gone through fires and waters, you have not lived yet. Akala we all go through trials. But our God is bigger than any trial. Right. And thirdly, I want to pray for, for something else. So I'm going to pray for you that the Holy Ghost will touch your life and meet you in a, draw you to, him, to himself, to your children, and three, your finances. Because people worry about finances. If you look at our prayer requests that come into our ministry, the three needs are always there. Mm -hmm. Family is number one. If you read every, everything, every letter, pray for my children, my husband, my dismissal. Glory. Second need. Hallelujah. The second need is always 
to do with my, my life, my body, my this, my that, my sex. Third, finances. People need finances to live. And the Holy Spirit can do it. The Holy Ghost can do it all. So let's believe, and I really feel this anointing on me, but I've got to say something to you right now that is so important. Get to know the Holy Ghost. And it, it's so simple. It's, it's, it's childish, like you just talk to him. You just say, Holy Spirit, I need your help. He's there. He's been waiting. He's the, he's, the, he's the quiet friend who will not interfere or interrupt till you call on him. Pastor, you get done praying, I want to talk to him. And oh, please, let's go, but I want to pray. I, I really feel the anointing, that, and I'm sure Lobos. you do too, but precious Jesus, Zandi we come Diosha, together right, right now, Lord, and you, you said if two agree, it'll be done. You promised us in your blessed word that if we agree, you'll do it. Now, Lord, I come into agreement with your sweet people. Lord, I pray that every need will be met. The Holy Spirit will visit their life. That the Holy Spirit will draw them to himself. As you drew me when I did not know you, Lord. Do it for them. Keep him as the apple of the eye. And, uh, hide him under the shadow of your wings. Protect their life from evil and harm. And I pray for their children, Lord. Thank you for the anointing, Lord. My God, the anointing is so strong. Dear Jesus, I pray that every man or woman, every family whose sons and daughters are away from you, Bring them back home, Lord, and heal that home, heal that marriage. Deliver that son from drugs and alcohol. Deliver that daughter from addictions. Bring peace to every home. Let the joy of the Spirit return. Let the good days come back in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray for people's finances. You've never failed us, Lord. We've never lacked a cent. We've never lacked a, a dime because of you. We've never gone hungry because of you. Precious Lord, meet the need Kill of that him. one watching, that, that, that they'll prosper, that this be the best Sin Christmas they've had. The 2016, no matter what happens in this Kal world, our, our experience with you will be bright and glorious. There'll be no need in our life. Your word says, none lacked among them in Acts, Lord. None lacked among them. In the worst time in church history, none lacked among them. And none will lack among us. In Jesus' sweet name. Amen. I hear a song. He's sweet, I know. He's sweet, I know. Oh, that's precious. Wow. Dark clouds may rise. Stormy winds may blow. But I tell the world wherever I go that I found a Savior and He's sweet I know Isn't He sweet? Amen. He's such a sweet savior. He's a sweet smelling savior. You know, you can smell him. Not only can you smell him, you can taste him. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I want you to hear me right now. All over this country, we're in a very dangerous hour, but you're in your best hour. The Holy Ghost led us to be here tonight for you. Do you feel this anointing? Oh, it's strong, Pastor. The Holy Ghost led us to be here wow. for you tonight to prepare you for the things that are coming upon America. The Lord said again that Clinton will rise like yeast rises when it cooks. He said an expected long-term presidential candidate is going to bow out. Mark this word. You're the only person here. This is one night only. That a tsunami warning is getting ready to be issued to Japan. The Lord said Israel is going to be more divided than now. 
and eventually a war will be found and America's help will be limited. That the face of Israel is going to change and they're going to make a new American embassy right there in Israel. The Lord says they're going to find a plant right there in Israel that would be used to heal the nations. There is a getting ready to be a mighty move of the Spirit that's going to hit America. But I need you to hear me right now. And I don't know if there's some way we can make this happen, but I'm hearing a strong witness from the Holy Ghost. I want to touch your request. I want to pray because the anointing that is in here is tangible. Very strong. And anything that's tangible is transferable. That's it. God wants to release something on you today. A, a supernatural encounter with the Holy Ghost. Amen. In my private time with the Lord every morning, I've just been feeling that wooing of the Spirit. Come unto me, all ye who are weary. That's what the Lord is saying to you tonight. Please come back to me. Come back to your first love. Don't forget me. Sometimes you get so busy and get so distracted that you lose the secret place. But everything is in his presence. That's where it is. Your healing, your deliverance, your breakthrough. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. And everything else is going to be added. I need you to do something. Do not hesitate. There is a window open for the next 24 hours. I don't want you to hesitate. I feel this very strongly. Some of you are watching by Periscope. You're watching streaming. And there's an anointing that is being released where the Holy Spirit is about to visit your children, your grandchildren. Make next year a year where your only concern is that my family know his power. Amen, Lord. That they will be strong because the people who know their God will be strong and do exploits. This is what I hear very strong. And I want you to hear me good. And do not hesitate. You have 24 hours. And that anointing is about to invade your life. I'm going to get these, your names, men, pastor, some kind of way. And we're going to pray for each individual who will heed this instruction, tangible. Lay my hands on it. Pastor, lay his hands on it. God has used his hands. And release the anointing. Yes. That will feel it. It is so. It's going to visit them in their homes. Now, I want you to do this now, because the anointing is here. Lift your hands right where you are. Jesus, 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 there is something about that name, Master, you are master. Savior, you are. Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain, Jesus, Jesus, oh, call him right where you are, Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim. Guess what? Kings and kingdoms, they will all pass away. But there's something about that name. Surely, thank you, Jesus. The presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. And it's coming to your house. 
It's coming to your children. Amen. And it's coming to your grandchildren. Amen. And it's coming to your business. I need you to move quickly under this anointing. There is a window open. Every person who obeys this instruction, I'm going to get your name. Every one of you, I'm going to get your name. And I'm going to lay my hands on that request. You that do this, something supernatural is about to take place in your life. Pastor, I, I may be overstepping my bounds, no, but I, please, I hear something real strong. I want every person under this anointing right now, right now under this anointing, because this is a season of prayer, every person right now to do two things. There are a thousand of you under this anointing who's supposed to give $100. But pastor, there are 50 people and I don't know how we can do this. And that's why I said I may be overstepping my bounds. You're not. It's okay. But we're in a season of prayer. And if possible, Pastor, there are 50 of you under this anointing who are supposed to sow under this anointing right now. You have a window. You cannot wait. There's a moment of $1,000. Pastor, if it's possible, I don't know how we can do this. I don't know if you still have any prayer shawls. Yeah, I do. If we can get you to put your hands I'll do it. on the prayer shawl. I'll do it. And every person. We can do it tonight. Anointing. In fact, when because of the anointing being. Yes, sir. They can bring them here and I, because we have them upstairs. Every person that will give that $1,000 seat tonight. This is a one-time thing. This is not planned. I just heard this in the Holy Ghost. Pastor Benny is going to lay hands on it. I'm going to lay hands on it. And a spirit of prayer is about to invade your house. And we'll send them that prayer show. We'll send them that prayer show. It's a deal. Every person under this anointing that will sow that $1,000 seed, me and Pastor Benny is going to lay our hand, double portion. And a spirit of prayer and the Holy Ghost, when you wrap yourself in that prayer show, is going to visit your home. You're going to wrap your children in it. They're going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You're going to wrap people who are bound with cancer, sickness, disease. It happened in Chicago. Wrap somebody with a prayer shawl. Young lady, terminal cancer, five years old. Held her in that prayer shawl and she was healed. You need to do this. God is about to visit your life. And me and Pastor Benny is going to place our hand on that prayer shawl. Can I do something for those who will give a hundred? Yes, sir. I want to I, I send you a gift that has blessed my life over the years. Yes, sir. There's one of the most sweetest worship tapes that I still play when I am with the Lord. It's called The Glory and the Power of the Resurrection. One of the most beautiful uh, CD with hymns that I... It, it, it starts, so the, the anointing that's on that CD is so rich that I, when I pray, I play that CD. Wow. I want to send to everyone who will give $100. You're asking how many people to, to uh, give the 100 uh, uh, You're moving. I'm asking everybody under the sound of my voice, but there are 1,000 of you. So a give thousand that $100 giving a hundred dollars seed. But and then the 50, 50 okay. Then I'm going gonna, gonna to get 2,000 of them. Yes, sir. And I'm going to send to everyone who will give the hundred and the thousand will get the CD. And those that will give a thousand will also get the prayer Pressure. show. It's a deal. And I'm telling you, there's something unusual about to happen in your life. This is your season for grace, for favor. An unusual anointing is coming on you. So I want to sing that to you. It's a new season. It's a new day. That's a word for you. Guess what? A fresh anointing is coming your way. Amen. It's a season of power and prosperity. Hallelujah. It's a new season coming to you. It's a new season coming to you. Listen, we're at the end of the year. But I'm declaring that the end of this year is going to be the beginning of your year. Amen. Because everything the enemy took from you, 
God's about to make them pay it back. That old thief, Proverbs 631, if he be found, he got to restore sevenfold. Yeah. It's time for the devil to give back your stuff. You finna have it. Move under this anointing. Not for money, not for houses, not for riches. You need an anointing in this season. You need an anointing How bad. Wow. for what's coming. We're going to pray over those pressures. There are 50 of you. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? Move. Obey God. Every time you sow into this ministry, you're sowing into a ministry where lives are being changed all over the world. Cancer is being healed. People are being set free. Bound. People that are bound are being delivered. You've seen it. You watch this as your day. So guess what? Some of you have received miracles from watching TV. You got healed. My godmother there in Jacksonville, Florida, had cancer. She woke up one day. Pastor Ben had on his white suit and said, God's healing you of cancer. She felt the electricity right there in her stomach. She's healed today. My barber, my barber, he like a street boy. You know he's street boy. He had a broken leg. He had just got his cast on. Went to Pastor Benny's meeting in Jacksonville, and his leg started shrinking in the cast. You know, you're supposed to get on the cast for six, eight weeks. He was healed in one week. The power of God is being released on you. Hey! Excuse me, I'm about to shout. Hallelujah, Listen, I feel it. Go, to, go, go, go online, call the number on the screen. Praise Do it God. right now. And, and let's believe God that the greatest year ever for us as God's people will be 2016. Obey God. All 50 of you move. The stuff is on the, on the screen. You know, I can't keep up with all that stuff. It's on the screen. Go to the website. Dot, go, wait, that seat of 100. But there are 50 of you. I release. They're doing it. I know. An it. anointing. They're doing it. For miracles. Oh, man. Whatever that pressure comes in contact with, miracles are going to take place. I'm telling you, that son is bound by drugs. When he walked through the door, just throw that shawl at him. And they pass out right at the front door. Holla, my son, dollar. I want to sing a song before we go. Um, majesty, worship his majesty. Unto Jesus. Oh, I love this. Be all glory, honor, and praise. Can I join you? Please. Majesty. Let me have some strings. Kingdom authority, a little more pipe, floats from his throne unto his own, his anthem rays, so exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus, magnify, come glorify, Christ Jesus the King. His majesty, worship his majesty. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Love you, Lord.